Hello and welcome to the History Options video for GCSE. I'm going to take you through why we love our subject and why it would be a fantastic option for you to study. So, first of all, why do we love our subject? Firstly, it helps us to understand the world around us. In a world that is always changing politically, economically, socially, um, studying history really helps us to understand why those changes are happening. Uh, you can see on the screen a picture of someone standing up in Nazi Germany and refusing to salute. And looking at these examples of protest help us to understand how people use their voices today. It also allows us to learn about and empathise with different cultures and experiences all the way back from the medieval times, like in that image where they are cutting a hole in someone's head and um, all the way up to different groups um, and beliefs. And lastly, history is always changing. People are always finding out about new things. More stories become available to us that change how we ever thought about the past. We study the AQA exam board, which has two papers as part of the summer exam series. Each paper is two hours long and is split into two sections. So you study four topics in total. I'm going to go through these topics now and um, so you can learn a little bit more about what you will be studying at GCSE. Paper three is Weimar and Nazi Germany. Now you study this in year 10 and it's the last paper of your GCSE. This of course looks at the rise of Adolf Hitler, but it also looks at the government before him and how they helped to tackle the problems of World War One in Germany. You can see children playing with piles of banknotes as they became worthless in the 1920s. And then we have a look at the personality and the cult of Adolf Hitler, how he controlled so many different people, how he made them believe his ideologies through force and terror and fear, and how he treated um, different groups such as Jewish people and other minority groups um, who were affected by his policies. The first topic that you will study will be Germany, 1890 to 1945. This will take you through the German Empire and the Kaiser who took Germany into World War One. You will look at how Germany tried to recover after the First World War and how it led to a rise in dictator Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. You will look at how Hitler took power and what life was like in Nazi Germany by studying different groups like women, children and workers. Then the second part of paper one is conflict and tension between the East and West. This means the Cold War. You look at post-World War II tensions between America and the Soviet Union, which is today Russia, and you look to understand all of the things that brought the two countries close to war. You look at the rise of nuclear weapons, uh, the Berlin Wall, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and this paper really asks you what caused tension throughout the world. Let's have a little bit of a look at paper one. Medicine Through Time takes you through the progress of medicine and surgery and public health from the medieval time where they believed in religion and God causing disease and lots of supernatural beliefs, all the way up to the modern day with the found founding of the NHS and the technology that we have today in medicine. We study the important individuals that have found incredible discoveries such as penicillin, the smallpox vaccination, um, antiseptics and we think about how significant they are in changing surgery and medicine. In this paper we also have a environmental study so we have a look at the western front and the trenches of world war one which you will already be familiar with from year eight and we have a look at how soldiers experience medical problems and how they overcame these.
The next paper that you will learn will be paper two, which starts with Britain, Health and the People. You'll learn about how medicine has developed from the medieval period all the way up to the present day. This involves the creation of the NHS, understanding the impact of the world wars and ultimately looking at how we have developed and why we have developed um, medicine in the country. The last topic that you will study is Elizabethan England. You'll look at this very famous Tudor monarch who was the daughter of Henry VIII and how she ruled the country as a woman. You'll look at her relationships with other countries, the Spanish Armada, Mary Queen of Scots, and you'll look to understand how she controlled her government. GCSE will be taught a little bit like Key Stage 3 in that there are a variety of activities, games and opportunities to debate your classmates. There is a high level of challenge and we will expect the very best of you to think critically about a topic and to write extended writing answers. At home, you'll be expected to complete retrieval quizzes and there will be independent study practice for assessments or to consolidate learning in class. Assessments will take place at the end of every topic, however there will always be opportunities to practice these types of questions and your teacher will model them in the lessons. There are a variety of question types at GCSE History. There are some four markers that ask you to describe what is happening, but there are longer answers which ask you to think about what was the most important reason that things happen. If you would like to see a paper, then please speak to your history teacher. History is one of the most relevant courses that you can choose to study. Employers love it, universities love it because it teaches you how to be a critical thinker and how to evaluate evidence. You learn skills in problem solving and develop your communication, which would allow you to access a whole range of careers outside of being a historian. So if you have any questions, please speak to your history teacher or come and find me, Miss Phillips, and I would love to talk to you about what the history GCSE involves.